Hey, hi everyone and welcome to another video from Turn to Data. So we are starting a series of SQL questions that we'll try to solve on this channel. And uh, without wasting any time, I think we should just dive into it. So if you have watched my previous videos, you know that I have done a lot of videos on Excel. But today uh, we are starting a new series. Uh, although we will still cover Excel videos, I wanted to jump into Excel, sorry, jump into SQL videos now so that we can do both of them parallelly. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to solve uh, a few questions from uh, Danny's eight week SQL challenge. So you can come to this website that is eight week SQL challenge dot com and you will find that there are multiple case studies available, right? So this is the first case study, Danny's diner, all right? Then you have case study two pizza runner up to a lot of other case studies that is i think case study eight yeah there are eight case studies so we'll try to solve all of this let me just click on the first one so once you're here you will find that you know uh, there is a brief description of uh, what this case study is all about a problem statement all right and then uh, you will find the ER diagram, entity relationship diagram on how the tables are arranged and how they are connected to each other. And then some example data sets will be there at the bottom so that you get a fair understanding of uh, what type of questions you have to solve. All right. So I'll just scroll down. So there are three tables here, as you can see, one is sales, then menu and members. And then if you come down a little, you will find the schema here. So what I would suggest is whichever uh, you know, SQL platform you're using to write the queries, you can uh, open that up, copy these create table and insert statements, and then get started with the queries. If you don't use anything on your system right now, you can actually click here, that is edit on DB Fiddle. So once you click here, you will see a new window opening up and you can actually write your queries here on the right side, all right? So, uh, that's basically it let me just close this and go back so this is your uh, schema and if you scroll down these are your case study questions all right so there are some bonus questions at the end as well so what i'll do is in this particular video i'll keep it short i'll try to cover the first two questions and then we'll move on with other questions in our upcoming videos all right so just sh showing you the table design so these are the three tables and you can see uh, each of the table has some of the other ID, all right? And these are connected with each other through either through the customer ID or the product ID, okay? So let me just go back to our uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I'll use SQL Server to write the queries. You can write it in your own, uh, you know, whichever uh, SQL version you are comfortable with. There are mild changes here or there whenever you write the query so i would suggest you google them up for any changes if you're using sql server you can follow my video to write the same queries so what i have done is from the same table that is uh, from the same uh, website i have copied the schema that is you know create table insert into statements for all these three tables and i've just lodged them here on my you know uh, studio and you can see I have insert statements for all three tables, create statements as well. And all three tables are already created by me. So I would suggest you do that first and then we'll get to the questions. So these are all the, you know, the 10 questions. And then we have two bonus questions at the end. So let's get started with the first two questions. Before that, I would like to show you how the tables look like. So let me just show you the first table. Click on execute all right so this is the very first table so we have a customer id then you have an order date then you have a product id okay so th this these three columns are the only information that you have under the sales table okay moving on to the next table that is menu so in menu it's a very short table you have the product id you have the product name and the price all right and in members you have the customer ID so there are two customers and their join dates that is when did they join the membership so when did they become a member all right that what it means so 
fairly simple uh, the table design is fairly simple let's jump to the questions now so i'll start solving the first question for you okay put in a few spaces here all right all right let's start with the first question so i just want to uh, you know give you the basic understanding of how you go about fetching any query in this case right let me just hide the results pane okay so the first query states what is the total amount each customer spent at the restaurant okay so before we uh, go about solving this query just make sure that you understand the question properly so this particular query is asking you for two things okay focus on the question always focus on the question the first thing is the total amount that is how much was the amount spent and it says each customer so in the end we ideally want to know how much did a spend so i can say a spent let's say 100 dollars and how much did b spend let's say 23 dollars and how much did c spend let's say 66 dollars so my result should be something like this that is i should have the customer id on the left and i should have the uh, the total amount spent by each customer on the right okay so keeping that in mind let's write our query all right so we know that uh, the customer names are available in the sales table so just to have it clear in my head i will say from one is the sales table that we want and since we want information from the price table also because if you remember price is only available in the second table that is menu in your first table you don't have the price right in the first table you only have customer id date and product id so we will have to join these two tables somehow and then get to the result let me just scroll down a bit okay so one is the sales table and i will have to join it with the menu table okay now you can use i'm using inner join here so instead of inner join you can just type in join if you want you can also type inner join it, it does the same thing uh, just for clarity and you know readability purposes uh, people tend to use inner join a lot but it's up to you how you want to uh, use it as long as you are writing the uh, writing the correct query all right so let's say inner join here all right now from these two tables what do we want obviously we will start with the select statement so first one we want is the customer id all right so select customer id what else did we want we wanted the total uh, amount spent that is total price all right one more thing you have to remember is when you are joining the tables make sure there is a, a common key that connects both the tables so in this case product id is available in the menu table as well so i'll use product id to join this table okay so where i say on so i can uh, give them an alias let's say for sales i'm giving s as an alias and for menu i'm giving m as an alias so i say s dot product id equals m dot product id okay so that's how we have connected these two tables now now we have selected customer id if you want you can also say s dot customer id since uh, you are using the customer id from the sales table but since there is no other customer id column uh, you can also avoid it but just for readability and you know uh, good quality code uh, purposes you can use s dot customer id here okay doesn't matter if you don't use it just for readability purposes the next thing that we want is the total amount so to total the amount you will obviously have to use the aggregate function which is the sum function okay so i'll use the sum function and what are we aggregating the total amount so amount here in the table the column name is price all right so we'll take the sum of price and uh, from sales table we'll join menu table and this is our condition for joining these two tables and one thing you have to always notice whenever you are using an aggregate function in your select statement you will have to use a group by statement as well and group by 
whatever is the remaining field here okay so i will use group by and i'll say s dot customer id all right now let me see if this code runs properly so you select the entire query click on execute and there you go so you have your customers on the left and you can see the amount spent by each customer in total if you want to double check this what you can also do is you can actually uh, you know just check for one customer i would say check for a you can total up the price that he has spent on each order and it will come to 76 so that's how you do it one thing you have to notice here is if you see uh, this says no column name the first one says customer id but the second one says no column name because we are doing an aggregate but we are not providing a column name for this so to change that what you can do is you can use the uh, alias you can use as and you can name it as let's say total amount or let's say total amount spent that's how you want to name it okay i'll run the query again and now your column name is changed to total amount spent all right so this was the first question let's move on to the next one we'll solve one more question and we'll be done for uh, this video i'll solve the next ones in the upcoming video so the next question is sorry my bad let me just scroll down okay the next question is how many days has each customer visited the restaurant all right so how many days let's see if let's see the first table for that matter the first table gives you the customer id and the order date and what we are interested to know is how many days so days is the first uh, thing that we might want to find out and each customer so against every customer how many days has he visited he or she visited the restaurant right so similarly uh, i mean in this case we don't need two tables we just need one table because everything is there in the same table i'll say select what do i want to select i'll say customer id obviously i'll want the customer id what is the next thing that we want the next thing that we want is we want the count of dates right so if i let's say for a if i count the number of order date that is if i count order dates it will give me the number of days basically right just be with me here so let's say i say count order date here okay and we can uh, let's say name it to uh, days let's name it as you know number of days okay now from table is sales and since we are using a aggregate function that is count we will have to do a group by so you group by customer id okay so let us see if this works or not okay i'm going to run this it says 663 let's verify it for a all right Let, let's see if uh, it works for a or not so i'm just going to do select star all right so we are going to verify this query okay but because we want to make sure that it works so we want out want to find out how many days uh, has each customer visited the restaurant now if you see let's take the first two this thing so if you see the dates are the same that is first january 2021 so that means you cannot count these as two separate days right it is basically one day so if we count that way let's say this is one day two days three day fourth day and the last date is again the same because these two dates are the same right so we will count this as one so basically one two three and four so a should I ideally have only four days but we are getting how many six as our result so the query is not correct what could be different it, so what we need to do is we don't need to count the order date we actually count need to count the distinct order dates okay so you need to count distinct order dates as number of days that way any duplicates will be clubbed together and counted as one let's see if this works perfect so now for a you have four days 
for b six days and so on so we can verify for b and c also so if you want let's just quickly validate that for b it says six days so let's see one two three four five six perfect for c it says two so we have one date here same date and the second date all right so this is how uh, you go about and run sql queries where aggregates are required so these were the two solutions to the first two questions of uh, danny's danny's diner that's the name of the you know that's the name of the challenge or the case study so to say the first case study danny's diner okay solution of first two questions so we have covered the first two questions i'll cover the rest of them in our upcoming video thanks a lot for watching if you have any doubts at all feel free to put it in the comments tab and uh, hit the like on the video if you enjoyed it i'll see you with the next video very shortly